This video is not suitable for audiences under 13 years of age. Hello everyone, Mixmate Gaming here. Welcome to my channel. Today we take a look at some more test server action. This weekend's test server, we're looking again at the Hawk. Uh, the War Robots recently just put out a video about a trailer for update 6.2 and they had the Hawk in there. So I was actually kind of surprised to see the Hawk in uh, this test server because otherwise they, they would have made that trailer if they didn't feel the Hawk was ready to be deployed in the update. I actually wouldn't be surprised if the update happens this week. Uh, or at the, very, at the latest, probably next week, because I think that everything has been pretty much tested that they're going to put in here. But anyways, they put the Hawk back in here, so we have a look at that. We're also going to look, take a quick look here at the pilot system rework again. I'm going to do a couple quick tests. And finally, they've apparently tried to address some issues with the target locking system. So we're going to look at that. But before I get into that, I wanted to make one plea personally. And that is, if you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to my channel. I'm trying to hit that 500 uh, subscriber milestone, and I'm currently at 474 subscribers. So I'm 26 away. So if you happen to be watching this video and you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. It would help me out a lot. With that being said, let's hop into one of these pilots here. Let's look at the pilot system. Things seem to be pretty much the same as they have been in the last few weeks. What I am going to do is I'm going to do my typical test here. I'm going to pick one of these uh, items here. So let's change the scale. And I'm going to see if they've happened to have changed the mechanism that once you have a skill leveled up, that if you take it off and put it back on, hopefully this, the skill stays that level. Because in the past, once you take off a leveled up skill and you put it on at a later date, that skill is back to level one and you have to tear it up through one, two, three, and four in the case of legendary pilots. So anyways, that being said, let's here, let's take the mechanic skill and we're just going to put on, say the adamant gunsmith. All right, so now let's go back in here. Let's change the skill. Let's select it. Let's go into select list and we're gonna pick mechanic and see what happens when I choose it. It is back to tier one. So now I have to upgrade to tier two, tier three, and tier four, even though I had just upgraded it, took it off and put it back on. So Pixani, please, please fix this. If you're gonna force us to spend more gold just by tearing up these skills, what you should do is once it's tiered up, that when you put it back on at a later date, it comes in at that max tier or whatever tier you happen to have it on when you take it off. So uh, this is the one thing about this pilot rework that I hate. Uh, beside the fact that you have to spend more gold for every single one of these pilot skills to level them up. But the fact that you spend resources, <clears throat> excuse me, that you spend resources on is upgrading a specific skill, you take it off, you essentially lose all upgrading that you've already done on it. So. I am really, really not a huge fan of that. The other thing that I want to test, because I, I did, never did this previously, is if I go in here and let's put that back, let's, let's change the pilot. And I want to see if they've changed the mechanism for promoting pilots. I wonder if, if the addition of all these skills, maybe the promotion is automatic and you don't have to spend any gold. So let's just go in here and we'll just pick a skill, doesn't matter. And can I, can I not? Oh yeah, I can boost. Okay, let's boost. All right, so we're at level five, level six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and boost one more, okay. All right, so you, you apparently do have to promote still. And the test server is not a very good spot to do this because we all know the costs are nowhere near what they'll be on the live server. So yeah, promotion is only one single gold in this case. 
But on the live start, it's probably still going to be it's 500 gold for the first promotion. So yeah, I'm not I'm not a fan of this. If you're going to make us have to tier up and level up each individual skill, then at least remove the promotion because there's many of us that still don't have any max pilots at all ever since they they were re released into the game. I know I don't have a single max type uh, a max to pilot. So, you know, if you're going to be forced to spend more gold, you've got to give us back a little bit of gold. All right, so going into, let's go into some gameplay here and let's see what this targeting system is all about. I don't really care about winning or losing. I just want to start looking at this targeting system. And I know the problem I've had in the past is if you get, at least currently on the live server, if you have multiple people in front of you, it seems to only swap between the two closest targets. Ideally, you want to be able to swap through all the targets in your field of view. So we'll see here when we drop into a game how the targeting works. And you know, I could be wrong. Maybe it's completely changed and it's a completely different mechanism. I'm not sure. But the, the targeting definitely needs to be fixed in some aspect. Okay, we are on Castle. Let's uh, start with the Hawk. Sorry, my, <clears throat> my throat's really dry for some reason. So if I have to be coughing and gagging a little bit, my apologies. Alright, you, you know what? I can drop any time now. Hello? Finally. Okay, so... One of you up here. There's three guys up here. One, oops, two, three. Okay, so I can at least manually shift targets on those three guys there. Okay, so we have a looks like a phantom or something from up here. I should go get this, help get this beacon since nobody actually went and got it. All right, so here we go. We're gonna grab the beacon. And what do we have here? <laughs> God, I, I hate this this white bubble in this thing. I just don't... You know, a lot of these bots, like the, the stealth bubble they added last week, and this this uh, visual bubble for the Hawk, it's not needed. It really, it really isn't needed. So what do we have up here? Can I hit him? Nah, he's, he's gone back out of range. Um, okay, do we... Oh, we have nobody really up there on the top. Well, that's not good. This guy up there. One, two, my little ability here. Get his last stand activated. <coughs> See if I can fly up here in time. Stop him from grabbing this beacon. He's going to go behind that cover there. All right, so we got Tim taken care of at least. Grab the beacon again. Oh, we got a whale in there. Okay. Okay. Let's get a reload going here. And I don't know where that whaling thinks he's going. What? Oh, the Wayland's dashing. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to roast him up here with this ability, hopefully. Yeah, see, like, yeah, I worked okay on that Wayland, but if if they call this an anti-Titan bot, like, I'm sorry. That that weapon took a long time just to do a little bit of damage to a Wayland. You expect it to do decent damage to a Titan? Not unless they happen to add a multiplier, which I think is what they should do. Make this weapon have a multiplier just like kinetic weapons have on physical shields. Those things like Aventors, Punishers, Punisher Tees, that type of thing. They have a 200% increased damage against physical shields. Which is what I think should happen against Titans with this weapon. I haven't even gotten that single kill. Let's 
Is that a leech jumping? Yeah, it's a leech jumping. It confused me. Okay, his ability is gone. So he can't get him taken out. Alright. Put my hair around behind this rock. I'm going in stuck. Okay, it's. Oh, it's a uh, Hades. I don't want to use my ability on him yet until that shield drops right about now. Oh, of course the targeting system lost. And I'm going to go into the drink here because I couldn't see. <clears throat> That's fine. All right, so let's let's get the leech in there. And let's maybe go up here on the left-hand side. Nobody's up here. I do have Adamant Roadhog on this thing so I can go a little bit faster. This might be a mistake because that guy's probably waiting for me to get closer. And he's going to drop in right in front of me. Is he? Is he? Is he going to drop? Okay, somebody's coming up here. Alright, well I'm going to grab this beacon anyways. And we have a hawk coming in here. Going to phase shift. Save my last stand just barely. Alright, so he's gonna land. See if we can't shut him up a little bit, which no, I'm not going to. And let's go with the hours run. I guess it's domination. I never even paid attention at the beginning. I thought it was Beacon Rush. So we have a Nightingale coming in up here. Don't have, of course, the Yang Li pilot is not on the test server. That's right, I have anti control on here, buddy. Holy crap! What is going on here? He must have had advanced repair. I don't think I'm going to get him taken out before he gets flight. He's going to go way out of my range to get him. Just trying to keep an eye on him. See where he's going to go. I do have my flight ability back. He's going to land. I'm going to get him right now. Or am I? Jeez. Have I gotten a single kill? No, I can't. I can't get a kill to save my life. This is horrible. Let's go over here. Got a hawk up there. There's a Ravana down. And I don't know what this is. Is it a? It's probably a Fenrir. No, it's a Bulwark. Is that shield going to go down or not? What the hell? That shield didn't take any damage at all. Uh, he's in his uh, resistance mode. That bulwark, I, I know you can get skills to increase the, the, the shield, but damn. I don't know if that was a bug or if he's hacking or something, but... That shield didn't take a sliver, not a sliver of damage. I have to get a kill, come on. Finally. Oh, I guess double kill, so I did get a kill. Let's see if we can grab this beacon. Are we going to turn it? There we go. And we have, of course, an Ao Ming up there. Come on, I'd like to get my flight back now. So we got another hawk up here. I don't know if we're going to get to him in time to try to hit him. I'm going to go over to this left hand side here. I just I want to get in range to be able to hit him. But I also don't want to get completely roasted. 
But if I remember correctly, I think this ability has a 500 meters range. That was that guy up there. But he's in range. So it does decent damage, I guess. I think I'm the only one hitting him. Just gonna go around behind if I can. I don't think I'm gonna last enough time to uh come on. Wow, he's taking no damage at all. Uh, I shouldn't have used my face shift there. See if you can't take him out. Oh, you shouldn't have gone into flight there, buddy. Right. We got another Titan left here. Let's see if I can't save my. Ah, oh, crap! It's over with. So the built-in weapon seems to do okay damage, at least against what are they like level 15 Titans, something like that on the chest server. So how do we do? So third place, you know, five beacons, two kills, middle of the pack for damage. Not bad. So let's let's just look at the the hawk description here, in case it there is a multiplier that I'm unaware of. So if we look at the information here. Uh, Built-in weapon, 500 meters range. Just says defense mitigation, block damage, and return damage. But I don't see anything in here about that. There's some kind of a multiplier when it comes to the built-in weapon. So that's the one thing I would change about this bot. I would make the built-in weapon have a multiplier against Titans only. Uh, the other test for the test server, the targeting system seemed to be okay. At least I didn't get that glitch where it was only focusing on two targets back and forth, and I couldn't target the third or the fourth guy that's behind. So at least using the manual targeting system, I was able to cycle through them. Uh, the pilot system, in, in my view, still needs work. Uh, you, you shouldn't have to upgrade or or uh, yeah, upgrade individual skills a second time if you unequip them and then put them back on. And I also think the, prom the promotion of pilots should be removed, especially if they're going to force us to spend a lot of gold on tearing up the individual skills. So anyways, those are my thoughts. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. I really am trying to reach that 500 subscriber goal. And until next time, cause some mayhem in the field for me.